Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is the Iron Man Challenge. And as you can see, I have a ship. Now, I had to get one, number one, because you guys said it was okay. I made sure to put it out to you guys. You guys said it wasn't cheating as long as I don't leave the atmosphere. And so that's what I'm going to do. Just because if I find a uh, like a drop pod that is way out there, like eight hours away. I don't want to walk for eight hours. That wouldn't be a fun uh, playthrough. But number two, I need it because what I did was I traded in my old one. So the starter ship is no more. The only ship I have is this fighter I just got. And while, if you didn't know, when you trade ships, you can destroy technology. Like, let me show you guys. Whatever you trade a ship, you can do this, and so that's what I did. And I, that's all I did after the after the uh, the episode ended. I didn't do anything else. And the other side benefit was there's no save icon around here. There's no save uh, area, and so I didn't know how to save. And so I had to get a a uh, ship. Thankfully, you guys said yes, do it. So I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was gonna have to run for another, you know, like another 20 minutes until I ran into a building. But thankfully, you guys wanted it, so yeah. Like, look, like, like, I'm not gonna be able to buy this thing. There's no way. But if you talk to a pilot, hey, come here. If you talk to a pilot and you you make an offer on their ship, man, this would be a really good hauler. Look at that. It's almost maxed out already, and it's a B class. That's why it costs thirty million to do. But if you're in here, you can actually pick up and move stuff over. Say, hey, you know, I want to move that stuff over because I'm going to buy the new ship, so I want to make sure all my inventory is over there. But the other thing is, you can go in and you can destroy the technology and get the items from that technology. And that's how I ended up with the condensed carbon, the copper, and the tritium. I haven't left the atmosphere. I just broke down some parts in the old broken starter ship. And that's what I got. I can't get this one. Sorry. So, yeah, this is our new fighter right here. I was able to get because it's cost seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars and we used some of that money came from the starter ship and I had some of it saved up so now that we have all this stuff all organized let me let me put this together we have our copper so we can almost make an atlas pass I don't know how I can't remember how much we needed for that oh you know what actually we'll, we'll leave the tritium in there now, our launch thruster needs to be right next to our efficiency thruster, so let's do that. Let's do that. That way they're together. And we have more room in here. Got it. But we also have all our upgrades, so let's do that. And actually, let's move the tritium down here. And we're going to put our deflector shield over here because we have a couple of them. Pulse engine module. Let's put that baby right next to that pulse engine so it gives it a boost. Starship shield. Yes. Uh, photon cannon module that goes for our, our cannon right there Pulse engine. Oh, we have two pulse engines. All right. I'm gonna have to actually move this over. So let's move that over Because you want it to be touching the core technology. So if it's an upgrade you want it to be touching the original technology That's how you get the best, you know boost So the same thing goes for my shield module You want the shield upgrade to be touching the actual shield itself Same thing for everything else so yeah, holy cow, we have a good fighter now. But the other thing is, like, if I wanted to, we have a. Oh man, I'm gonna let me let me put this. Let me, give me give me a battery real fast. But yeah, and so if I wanted to get more copper, like if I go to my starship right now, how am I out of range? Oh man, I was just right on the edge. All right. So I know this is gonna be a lot of tutorial stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys my plan of attack on this. So if we're in here and I wanted to get rid of it. You see how at the bottom of the screen it says dismantle and I would get 50 chromatic metal, 50 sodium, and one wiring loom if I were to break that down. So I would get rid of the technology upgrade, but I would get 50 chromatic metal, 50 sodium, and one wiring loom in addition to that. So that's why you want to put some upgrades in there and then just get rid of it. 125 cadmium, one ion battery, and one wiring loom. Nah, we're good. Like if I were to get rid of my efficiency thrusters, I'd get one dihydrogen jelly. 50 tritium and one wiring loom. Nothing really gives me copper. That's what I was looking for. So I can break stuff down and get copper, but not really. So 
If I wanted to do that with my bolt caster module, like I have these already. I need magnetized ferrite, and I need a nano. I can make a nanotube. Oh, I could totally do that. Let's make a nanotube real fast. Duh. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Okay, let's do that. So now we have a full advanced mining laser. Now it works, so we're good. But to get this one, we need magnetized ferrite. We got to do that. But here, let's put the uh, let's put the bolt caster module in there. I don't know what it gives you when you destroy it, but we're gonna see. It will give me fifty pugnium and one wiring loom. Not worth it because I want the copper, and I don't have a bolt caster in here. So I would normally reload the save, but I'm not gonna try to cheese too much. I want to try to be kind of legit, as legit as I can be. But I do have 100 copper, so we're doing pretty well already. I have some chromatic metal, yes. Let's do this. We're going to move some stuff around here. Uh, we're going to put my uh, life support gels in there. And actually, speaking of that, it's been a little while. Maybe the uh, store has been reset. So now I can actually... Oh, yeah, don't do that. I would have fallen down and gotten hurt. Let's see what he got, what he has if he's actually been restocked. Oh no, he's not going to be restocked. Let's see. You don't have any other stuff, do you? No, you don't. Dang it. There should be a store. There it is, right there. The kiosk. Or the trade terminal. Oh yeah. We're going to buy more of this stuff, of course. Where's my battery up there? My battery down there? Oh, yeah. We're totally doing that. We have star silk. Wow. Oh, we have magnetized ferret. Let's buy all that. It just saves me from making it. A uh, chromatic metal. I mean, uh, technically, let's do that. I want to see what happens when I break it down. Because you can technically turn chromatic metal into an element. You can break it down. I thought I had one. Oh, no, I didn't. I got rid of it to make room. Well, now we can make another one. Boom. So, let's put some fuel in there. And let's put our chromatic metal in. Now let's see what we get. We will get... Oh, it doesn't want to give me anything. Why? It should give me copper. You should be able to get copper. I guess not. All right. Dang it, I was hoping maybe I could cheese it and get some copper out of that. Oh, well. Well, we can put our pug name in there. We'll get nanites out of that. Now, see, that's the, the trade-off, though. It takes 25 Pugnium to make one Nanite Cluster. And so out of the 50 Pugnium, I would get two Nanite Clusters. Let's do it. Get my two, you know, make some room. But we do need Magnetized Ferrite, so let's put some Ferrite Dust in there. That'll give me pure Ferrite, which is good. And then we can refine the pure Ferrite into uh, Magnetized Ferrite. Oh, that's too far away. Oh, yeah, and uh, the other thing is, you guys have started making terminals all over the place. Look at this. Look at that. I love this, you guys. Communication station, communication stations. There's a, a portable refiner. Oh, that's my portable refiner. <laughs> Someone made a base over here. I love it, you guys. There's a save over there, seven hours away. So, oh, yeah, by the way, seven minutes away. I did say that I was going to go see what that message was because that was the first one. This is the official first communication station was over there. And so I am definitely going to do that. Let me go. Let me pick up my pure ferrite and make this into magnetized ferrite. 69. We should have enough, right? Oh, yeah. We'll have enough. Definitely have enough. Da, 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 da. That should be enough. I don't want to go too crazy. I put the pure fair out away, that away. Pick up my that, okay. So now we should have enough to make this, yep. So this will be our advanced scanner. So here we go. We can recharge time is less time and the scan radius is bigger. I like it. We put our carbon over there, magnetized. That pure fair goes down there. Do we have any in our, yep we do, okay. Why is the deoxide in there? Totally worthless. Okay. We're going to put our sodium nitrate in our cargo. Because we will be able to make some more later on. Oh, yeah. Let's put a battery in there. All right. So we're, we're organizing a little bit. There we go. We have our navigational data. 
Yeah, we're good to go. We're, our, our inventory is getting a little limited, but that's okay. Now we're pretty good. So I said I was going to do that first, so let's go. I We're going to go see that communication station. We have to give credit to the, the first person to actually come here and leave a comm station. Come on, let's get it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it went to first person. Uh, let's change this to third. I like third because I want to see what's going on here. Look at this fighter. It's pretty awesome. So this is our first one over here. Oh, it's going to take us 18 minutes. Um, Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go to the edge of the atmosphere. I'm not leaving the planet. I'm not leaving the atmosphere. I'm going to the upper atmosphere. Right here. Okay, we're not leaving. I just enough so I can boost over. There we go. Uh, we're not going to be able to complete that uh, tutorial because we can't do everything, but that's okay. What is this? Why am I not getting the time? Okay, fine, whatever. Come on. Okay, whoa, we went a little too fast. Okay. Yeah, the higher you go, the faster you can go because there's less oxygen, there's less atmosphere, and so there's nothing... Wait a minute. Is there another planetary uh, archive? Are you kidding me? I think that... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is the comm station at? I think he's down here. Let me, let's land. There's another planetary archive. He marked a planetary archive, I believe. Sonic Mobian's base. So yeah, that is his save icon. So it was over here. I just can't see your uh, comm station. Where's your comm station at? So Sonic Mobian, you are the man or woman. You are the, the, the traveler, the fellow traveler. That is awesome. Sonic Mobian. Oh, and he's starting to make a base over here. I love it. Got a cool base going on. I am impressed. So yeah, at a planetary archive, which is really cool. Oh, we can go to the market and get some more. Uh, the, this market should be okay. So we should get some more uh, batteries and a uh, life support gel. There's the ancient rune that's marked that we still won't get to. That's okay. Chip pack is a little faster than running. Up oh, and there's a teleporter up here. We can't use that. Because we're not allowed to leave the planet until we've uh, upgraded our, maxed out our inventory. I don't need you. Let's go to talk to this guy over here. This kiosk. Oh, it doesn't. It's I guess it's universal. Oh, and I don't have any money either. Wow, look at that. I only have 4,000 bucks. I need to start making more money. Yeah, I need to start making some more money. Wow. I spent all my money. Oh, there's copper here. I can't buy it, though. Let's see. I'll buy as much as I can. Because I'm going to need this later on. There we go. I can buy 31. All right. We bought 31 copper. So now we're up to 130. That works for me. That works definitely for me. We could sell the wiring loom. I don't think we're going to need it for any other upgrades. We don't have any other upgrades we can make, right? Nothing like that. Oh, we need... Oh, we're almost... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We almost can make a bolt caster. We just need chromatic metal and we can make that, but I need the... No, no, I'm torn because I gotta... I gotta wait. I gotta wait. So now, the big question is, do I continue on foot? Or do I explore your guys's... You know what? I'm gonna explore your guys's bases. Whatever you guys put a, a comm station... That deserves me to go and look at it. So let's go check it out. I could have sworn I saw a lot of comm stations around, but why did they disappear all of a sudden? Like, look, they're gone. What is going on with that? I seriously, what, what's going on with that? If you get a certain distance away, do they disappear? Why are comm stations not working? All right, well, you know what? I want it to go. I mean, ugh. All right, well... That's okay. We'll just keep going. 
We're gonna look for a manufacturing facility because I want to learn the recipe for the Atlas Pass. And then we just have to go running around looking for the red tubes, the Atlas tubes cargo. That is not a manufacturing facility, but it's an unknown building, which is awesome. Where is the manufacturing facility? That's the uh, radio, a broadcasting tower. Um, a hollow tower, I should say. That's okay, we'll find it, we'll find it. This is way faster than doing it on foot, you guys. This would have taken me a whole episode just to go for those three different areas. There's another just abandoned buildings, that's okay. Not an abandoned building, I shouldn't say that. It was just a habitable building. Abandoned buildings have the eggs around them, we're not doing that yet. We don't need the nanites right now because we can't leave the planet. Oh, here is a radio, a transmission tower. This is what we were looking for earlier, you guys. So, if you find one of these on foot, it's amazing because it will mark the location of a minor settlement. Let's do that real fast. So, we've never been here before. That's why it does that cool animation like that. If you've already been there, it won't do that animation. Like, I'll show you what happens when you do it afterwards. Like, that is... Oh, there it is. Minor settlement detected. But if you've already been here, if you activate it... Let's see. Can I do it? Oh, it won't let me activate it because I've already been here. But we're going to hit that save. Oh, yeah, they don't have one either. Dang it, man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I thought there was a save, I you know, a saving uh, beacon on all these locations, but I guess not. You know what? Actually, we need to make some money, and so let's pick up some stuff. Now that we know where a, a minor settlement is, um, let's get some cobalt. We can refine it. I have my, uh, I think I picked up my refiner, right? Yeah, I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up a whole bunch of cobalt and we're going to refine it and turn it into ionized cobalt only because we only have so much room. And so I'm going to try to get as much as I can. And if you refine it and condense it, you can store more of it. And we're getting a lot of salt on the way too. So maybe we can make some dang uh, chlorine and because chlorine sells way more than uh, cobalt does. So... Salt is definitely the way to go. It, you'll find a lot of salt underwater. So if you're on a water planet, first thing you should do is go to the water, pick up a whole bunch of salt, turn it into chlorine, and then sell the chlorine because you'll be making tons of money that way. Oh, I thought there was some over there, but not. Nah. Okay, right there. Let's do that. Okay. Let's put this uh, refiner down. And let's start cooking. I think it takes a few minutes for it to do, go, depending on how big your stack is. Yeah, I'm already at 229 already. Let's put it in there. Yeah, that's going to take about a minute and a 42 seconds. So while it's going, while it's grinding. Oh, I thought this cave... None of these caves are really big. That's okay, though. We'll still... We'll get some while it's cooking. Now that we know that it doesn't glitch out like the, the dihydrogen jelly does, I still don't know why that glitches out. Like, if you're making dihydrogen jelly and you go in and out of it, it will literally just reset. And that's ridiculous. It uses up all your fuel. There we go. Get a whole bunch. Okay, never mind. This cave is deeper. I thought that was the end. That is not the end. Let's do this. I should still be able to see my, uh, my thing right over there. Yep, there it is. You can see my, my little star. Wait a minute. Portable refiner. That's someone else's portable or, or a save beacon. Let's pick this up. And we're going to add more to it. So let's add more cobalt. And we're going to take that out. That way we have more room for it. Because you don't want to run out of room. Now, I don't think you can on permadeath mode. But like on normal mode, you can only refine up to 4,000 at a time. And that sounds like a lot. Like, for permadeath, that's insane. But for normal mode, your your inventory slots can hold up to 9,000. So the fact that you can only refine up to 4,000 means you're going to you're gonna hit a limit. 
and you won't even realize it. Like, you'll, it'll just stop, and you're like, what's going on? You can only refine up to 4,000 at a time. Oh, look at that. It's underground. I bet you all the other ones are above ground, though. And that one just glitched out and came down here. Get some more cobalt. We're getting a whole bunch of cobalt. We still have to find our Atlas Pass. Come on. Give me that. Yeah, geodes. I love the geodes because they give you a ton more of the item. Like, in this case, I got a geode from a cobalt. And so if I were to unlock it, gave me a whole bunch. Oh, it gave me ionized cobalt. Sometimes it'll give you regular cobalt as well. Let's use that to make room. Get rid of that marrow bulb. We don't need that. Let's keep going. And we have a ton of life gel. We have a ton of uh, batteries. We are set, you guys. So now it's just the hunt for a manufacturing facility. And we need to make some money, too. Because we're going to need a new multi-tool. I really want to test out the, geolo the geology cannon. Just because I want to see if the geology cannon can do that or not. I'm pretty sure it can, but I haven't tried it. We know that the plasma cannon can't. But the geology cannon, we don't know. Let's go back here. We have to head back over because we have to get our portable refiner. I don't want to get too deep because then I'll get lost. Oh, not down there. We're over here. Yep. There's our portable refiner. I like how it marks it. That way you can kind of, you see it. You know, you can use that as a marker. I know that someone commented on an earlier episode that that's how they would mark it early game. Is they laid out a whole bunch of portable refiners because you can mark it. Now there's probably a limit to how many you can put down. Because I know there's a limit to the save beacons. If you put down five save beacons, that's the most you can see on one system. So even if you're on different planets, it doesn't, you know, because you can see it forever. You can see it in space. So save beacons are really cool for marking areas. Like I usually mark my portals with a save beacon. But you can only have five at a time. So that kind of limits you. Like if you have five different locations, that's great. But if you don't, then you're screwed. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh. Yeah, we still have some, some space in here. Because I don't think... Uh, maybe. We might need to switch out our sodium nitrate. Or the ionized cobalt. Because we're going to have more than that soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go to Exosuit X Capacity. Boom. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. There's one right there. I almost missed this stuff. It's always the stuff right in front of you you don't see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, we got a uh, geode. So that one gave us cobalt, regular cobalt. So I love the geodes. They don't, you don't get them as much. I think that on like permadeath, they're a little bit more rare than on normal mode. But it feels like on normal mode, they just give it to you all the time. It's crazy. But on permadeath, they're a little bit more uh, frugal with them. They don't just hand them out all the time. Give me that. Give me that. And the other reason to stay on foot is the fact that if you find any damaged machinery or broken machinery, there is going to be salvage data around it, like buried technology around it. Now, most of the time, it will be underground because that's where it's supposed to be. But because this game is procedurally generated, it sometimes it'll glitch out and it'll be above the surface and you'll be lucky you'll be able to get it. So, especially right now, we don't have a terrain manipulator, so we can't dig down and get it normally. But if it's glitched out, we, we can get lucky. So that's another reason to stay on foot. You can't see that from the air when you're flying around. And so we won't be able to make as much money. Now, we're getting to a point where we're going to be making a ton of money from ionized cobalt. We're going to... Once we start finding some of the manufacturing facilities, we can learn recipes to make items that can sell for a really high price. The problem is we're going to be limited because we can't really... Like, we don't have the hazmat glove, so we can't pick up these special items. Like, we can't pick up frost wart because we don't have any gloves. Like, watch. I, I'll go over here. This is frost wart. Good lord. Terrible. Terrible. All right. 
That's more like it. So yeah, we can't pick up this Frostwort right here because we don't have the hazmat gloves. Even though it's not poisonous or anything like that, you need a hazmat glove in order to get any of the special plant life. So like Solanium, um, the cactus flesh, all that stuff you need the hazmat glove for. And we don't have that. And I don't think you can get it until uh, the Space Anomaly, I believe? You might learn it, you know, a little bit ahead of that during the story mode. Like, if you're trying to complete the story, you might learn it, but I'm pretty sure... Why do I keep doing that? Go in the, ex you know, the cargo, the cargo. That way we can leave room. Oh, yeah, we can refine our salt as well. Now, I don't want to spend too much more time in this cave. Oh, we're out of fuel. That actually works for me. So we're out of fuel, which means we can pick this baby up. And actually, a nice cobalt goes over here. So we have two more spots. That's fine. Let's go back to our uh, our ship and let's go find a manufacturing facility. Come on. And we're not going to leave the atmosphere. That way we're not cheating. But we're going to be flying because it might take me... If I did it all on foot, it might take me years <laughs> to find a manufacturing facility and also you know all the drop pods and stuff like that so the flying around does help because there might be a good five hours between drop pods and i don't want to have like you know 50 episodes hour a piece of me walking from each drop pod to drop pod that would be crazy i know we're about to get in our ship it's okay so we're good on this let's move some stuff over into our uh into our ship. Like, we we don't need this wiring loom. We're gonna leave it in our ship. That'll be our, our bonus inventory. Boom. We'll we'll have our hermetic ceiling here in case we find a broken ship. Uh, we'll drop pod data. We don't need that yet. I may, we might not even be able to use it. I don't know yet. I might, I might be able to finagle a way to find a way, but I'm pretty sure we won't be able to use that yet. So, oof. we're gonna wait on that. Put that up there. Nav data over here. So all the items up there, all the materials down below, our resources down here. Okay, we're good to go. So let's keep going. We were going to go to the minor settlement, which is over here. Now, the other thing that I don't know is I don't know if you can put down a portable refiner and then fly away and see it from a long distance. Like, does your portable refiner actually disappear after a while? Uh, we're gonna find out. Because I'm gonna use my portable refiner to mark the miner settlement. That way we can keep going back to this, this miner settlement. And you know, I mean, maybe we, maybe we can use this to buy our, our new multi-tool. Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? There's a miner settlement right here. Let's land on this now that we know that no other ships will land on the landing pad. I know that I don't have to worry about that. Well, let's get in here. Let's see what this multi-tool looks like. Oh, it looks small. It looks like we're not going to be... It's not going to be good. It's actually... Oh, it has a scatter blaster on it. Ooh, and it has a lot of slots. Look at that. It has a lot of slots. Now, oh, it's worth 100 or 420,000. Woo! It does not, it has a scatter blaster, but it does not have, I mean, scatter blaster you can use on a door for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I mean, I can't afford it right now anyway. Let's get that nav data. Now let's sell some stuff and let's see if we can get any more upgrades. I think we bought all the other upgrades, right? We bought all the, the blueprints, right? Yeah, already known. All of it is, uh, yep, all of it's already known. So all the other blueprints are going to be on the space anomaly. Which kind of sucks, but that is okay. Oh, wait, wait, duh. I was going to buy some stuff from him. Do you have anything I need? So, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. We don't have, you don't have anything I need, so I'm going to sell you some stuff. We can sell him some of the uh, ionized cobalt, 156,000. Okay, we're good on that. We'll sell them some navigational data. That's uh, 2,000, basically. I think we're good on that. Salt, we can sell them salt, 62,000, because we can always get more. Good to go. 
Now, we're good on that. Let's see if we can buy some stuff from here. Do they have anything we need? They have chromatic metal. Yeah, we're going to buy chromatic metal from him. Because now we can make it on our current multi-tool. We can make a bolt caster. Um. Oh, Starship launch fuel costs a lot of money. I thought I was going to be able to do that easy, but no. Costs too much. Buying life support gel and batteries as much as we can. Because our, our stack limit is 100, so we can get up to 100 before we can just stop. So we're good to go on that. All right, so now we can make a bolt caster. Oh yeah, we, th we need three nanotubes, but we can make a bolt caster. Which is cheaper because we can't afford this guy. But before we do that, let's look around here. Let's put the, uh, we're going to put it right here on the launch pad. Now, that is marked. Let's see how far it goes, or if it's universal. Like, if it is a planetary, I love it. It looks like it is, because look at that. There's one over there, it seems like. So we know it's behind me. Oh, that thing's already gone. Look, it's already disappeared. I didn't even fly that far away. I can't see it at all. What? Does it reappear? Oh, it does. Look at that. It's like not even that far. What is it? Maybe a hundred meters? A hundred, you know, hundred feet and it just disappears? Let's see. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe I'm just blind. All right. We're going to go this far. Now we're pretty. We didn't go that. We didn't fly that far, but it might be too far for. Yep. It's gone. It is totally gone. Dang it. So it's not good for marking long distance. Dang it. I was hoping. I was hoping. Yeah, that's like 100 feet. Maybe that. Or maybe maybe 500. We'll say 500. That's being generous. Oh, that's okay. You know what? I'll leave it there anyway. Maybe I can figure it out. I was hoping. I was hoping maybe. All right, let's see. We need to find a uh, manufacturing facility. Because I can write down coordinates as well. So I might have to do this old school. Write down the coordinates for everything. Oh, that is... What is that? That's a building of some kind. Some kind of a tower. Not the one we're looking for, though. That's not a manufacturing facility. Something down here. Oh, that's another transmission tower. We don't need that one. That looks like a manufacturing facility. This does look like a manufacturing facility. So we can make a bolt caster. I'm going to do it. We're going to break into this manufacturing facility. So let's do it. We have the chromatic metal. We, oh no, we might not be able to make all the, okay, we need more carbon. Let's put our battery in and let's find some carbon. Now there's a lot of sentinels around here. I don't want to, I don't want to make them mad right now because they will come after me. But if we get a little, little farther away. Oh, let's do carbon. Oh, oh yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought we only had seven. Man, I'm not paying attention at all. I'm not paying attention at all. Three. Okay. So we have three of those. Oh, we need to make bullets, though. So, or ammo. So now we're good. And now we have a bolt caster. But we don't have any ammo. So we need ferrite dust for ammo. Wait, wait. Don't use that. It, gi it gives you one clip for free. Okay. I think I'm going to need more than one clip. So, let's keep it going. Oh, wait a minute. I think we need 50. A little bit more. There we go. Make ammo? Yeah, we needed 50. Technology 
So now we are good. We have a lot of ammo. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the scary part, you guys. We have to blow this door open. Wait a minute. Manual save or auto save. Oh, we might be able to do it. This is going way easier than I expected. I thought they were going to be right on me. Now they're trying to figure out what's going on. Sorry, guys. Too late for you. Oh, yeah. Now, here's the hard part, you guys. We need to... Number one, we need to hope we're lucky because not all manufacturing facilities will let you unlock blueprints. Sometimes they just give you technology and you're good to go. Hey, get out of here. This is a private thing, man. What are you doing? Sometimes they don't give you any kind of a, a blueprint. Sometimes, or sometimes they don't let you choose the blueprint. Sometimes they just give it to you. Let's see. The alarm has locked the terminal. A message displays itself letter by letter on the screen. The interloper. Oh, God. We don't know any of the words. We know one. Oh, jeez. Okay. The alarm shows no sign of stopping. I notice a wall-mounted security scanner slowly turning towards me. Oh, come on. I should have had a uh, override chip. I should have had the microprocessor. Well, let's shoot the camera. I apply a rapid burst for my multi-tool. This is a partial success. The Im my image is not captured but the by the system, but the backup sensors react to the destruction by shutting the system down entirely. Yep, I needed a microprocessor for that. Let's do this real fast. So, now that I know I need a microprocessor, where's my save beacon? There you are. Usually there's good stuff around the save beacon. Oh, oh no, the boxes are broken. Yeah, the boxes are all broken. Wow. Okay. Well, I was hoping for a green box around here. Because sometimes those green boxes will give you a uh, microprocessor. What is... Man, how come that one is marked but mine isn't? Na, 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 na. I'm not seeing anything. Did the cargo drop inside. A buried cache, it doesn't help me. I can't unbury it. I need a microprocessor. And I can't mark it because I don't have a save. I don't have a save beacon. Oh, so I'll never be able to come back here. There's a cargo drop on the inside. What if that will give me something? We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. We're going to try. And I could have done that with one clip. I could have done it with one clip. I'd have 15 bullets left. Why is it? What? That's the car. Oh, that's that's not a cargo. Oh, come on. All right. Well, we know this one's not going to work, so I'm going to call it there. Hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos every day. And let me know, do we need to uh, make money or should we just look for facilities now? I think we should make some money. We had that one minor settlement we need to go to. Oh, now all of the comm stations are working. Well, we're going to we're going to go visit those as well. So, I'll see you guys next time.